Hey guys, Red Lemon here. So, first step you want to do is, is go to the AVM website uh, and download a wallet. For this tutorial, we're only going to be going over the wallet for Windows and then also a miner within Windows. Hey guys, I want to stop this tutorial to give a shout out to Melantron Engineering. He's the guy who had helped me set this up in 5OS. And he's a great guy, so you guys should check him out. Uh, check out his page, subscribe. And also find them on, on the Misfit Discord. So in, since you're in the same website, go in here and download SRB Miner. This will lead you to this website and I'll give you, you'll head over to GitHub to download the file, which is the zip file. The zip file will be blocked, so you'll have to keep it. And this is because of uh, the Chrome's fail saves, I think. So now, since you have these two files, two zip files, you're, you don't want to run them through your downloads folder because then later on when you want to get to it, it's hard to find. So I suggest you guys create a folder, a dedicated folder for miners and then a dedicated folder for wallets. This way it's easier to find in the future if you need to get back to it. As you're moving folders in, uh, unzip them just so you don't have to do it later. And the first thing we're going to the first thing we're going to be doing is setting up the wallet. So click here, click on the XT file, open it up, hit OK. Uh, after this, it's going to start building at the blockchain. Um, you can just choose to hide this. And then under receiving, you want to type in your wallet address or your label for your wallet so you can receive payments. And you can also type in a message. It's not required, but you can you can do that too and request payment. So this is the wallet address you just created. So let's just keep this open for now. We'll get back to it later. Next, you wanna to go to the miner itself. So this miner has a dedicated uh, algorithm. Uh, AVM is not in here right now. So what you'll have to do is find another coin that has the same algorithm, copy it. And then Oh, well, here we go. This is the same algorithm it uses for AVM. You want to take this, you want to copy it, and rename this to AVN. Afterwards, you want to rename it, and then you want to change. So hit, hit back a few times. Get back to this screen where you download the miner, and click on other pools, and then this, this is the pool I'm going to be using. So once you're here, you can click on the actual coin itself. And then you can check, click on the location where you are. So this is in the US. So let's copy this and let's change this portion out. Next, you want to put in your wallet address. So what you have to do is just go back to your wallet and copy the address. Make sure you have a space here or uh, make sure you put in the title of the miner this way uh, as you add more miners they don't get uh, confused and then make sure you have a space between uh, the miner or the rig's name versus to the password after you're done with this you can close it save it and start the miner all right there you go you guys are now mining avn Next, if you want to see your progress, you can go back to the same pool website. Uh, go to home, type in your wallet address, hit search, and I'll give you statistics on your on your wallet, on your miner too. If you have even more miners, I'll give you all that information, but it gives you the balances, hash rates, and the overview of your wallet. Now you can have multiple workers here if you choose to. Right now I'm just showing this for one worker. But basically, if you want to add more, you would just do the same exact um, setup. Um, you don't have to do the wallet again, though. You can just reuse the same wallet, but the rig name will be just something different. So this is after a few minutes. We already got a immature balance of 24 AVN. And we don't see anything yet because uh, this has to synchronize to the network. But you can close this out and you can let it run wherever you want to do. Uh, I would suggest keeping it open until it fully updates so this way you can check if you really got the payment. 
And that's pretty much it, guys. Um, all right, guys. So if you appreciate this, uh, hit the like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.